With Georgia's so-called heartbeat abortion law still tied up in court, some Republicans are now looking to adopt the law to be more like the one just passed in Texas. Even the U.S. Supreme Court declined to block it. So this could play out amid next year's big elections, 22, and would likely have the backing of Governor Brian Kemp, who is, of course, up for re-election. 11 Live's Doug Richards explains. Georgia's heartbeat law has been tied up in the courts for two years. Texas got a similar law through the courts, and now Georgia anti-abortion lawmakers may want to make some adjustments. The heartbeat bill dominated the 2019 session of the Georgia legislature, with daily protests from women dressed as characters from The Handmaid's Tale. But pro-life Georgians showed up too, and the heartbeat bill passed with a two-vote majority in the state house. So it's much more widely encompassing than what Texas is, has passed. Um, Josh Edmonds of the Georgia Life Alliance would like to see Georgia lawmakers adopt portions of the Texas law that has passed muster in court to help dislodge from court the heartbeat bill. The Texas law has a provision that encourages private citizens to sue abortion providers as well as individuals who help women obtain abortion services. We're examining what it would look like to have a purely civil enforced uh, heartbeat bill in Georgia. But that provision enrages pro-choice advocates. It's a bounty system. This law isn't made to protect people, it's made to shame women. Lauren Frazier of Planned Parenthood Southeast told 11 Alive News. But we're going to stay in the fight on the heartbeat bill. You know, certainly appreciate what they did in Texas. Governor Brian Kemp signed the heartbeat bill into law in 2019 and now says he will back legislative efforts to give his legislation Texas-style legal standing. Hey, we think it'll be successful, and we'll continue to, to see how the Texas case moves along and work with the legislature on anything that they want to do that would be pro-life. And if it happens next year, the renewed abortion battle in Georgia could be fresh on the minds of voters casting ballots in the 2022 election.